Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Ha <laughs> ha, it's Pratt Magazine Weekend Race Report, right? Hey, coming to you this weekend, and I can only say this once a year now, from Miles Mountain MX. Now tell me about that, ain't that sad? Phil and the crew up there decided to cut back to one race a year this year. Just, you know, life, whatever, you know? Um, but uh, life moves on, and then and priorities change, and I don't know if it's not a priority for Phil. I don't want to say that by any means, but I know he's got a young family now, and he's got a couple businesses, and... They just decided to do one event this year, but guess what? It was a big one, the Evergood Classic or the Evergood Open. Shirky, Eric Shirk from uh, down Ceilings Grove Way, local local uh, former racer and uh, photog and video dude uh, working with Evergood. Maybe it's his company. I don't even know. You know, like Shirky made a comment about great to have a Moto Media legend in the house. Well, I was great to have a Moto Media pro in the house. You know, I'll tell you what, um, second year for the Evergood Shift Classic there or Open, whatever they call that, I should know, I guess up at Miles Mountain MX in beautiful Elkham, Pennsylvania. They call it God's country. At least I do. I don't know about y'all. But uh, I've been going up there since their very first sanctioned race way back maybe 2004, 2005, something like that. Engelston family, great host family. They do a fantastic job, beautiful facility. And uh, once again, it was not disappointing. Saturday, I got up there Saturday, man. I was like slacking because I wanted to just chill and hang out with my race friends. I haven't been doing MDRA race for a while. And I just wanted to hang out, and the sun was out. It was beautiful, and everyone's out there taking pictures, and I left my camera in the truck. Guess what? Saturday night, the skies opened up, the rain started coming, and the clouds came in, and bam, Sunday, I was out there playing, trying to get some good shots, and it just wasn't happening. But I got a couple, all right, okay? The racing, I don't know what happened Saturday. Saturday night, um, lots of good racing Saturday. Uh, Saturday night, uh, whole shot competitions out there uh, off the starting gate. That was good, good fun. They were going out in the dark with the big spotlights, and poof, fun stuff i know uh jude smurlick mini racers jude smurlick bryce shelley they were the top dogs all weekend long i think jude took that ever good classic trophy out of there they were, i don't know six eight overalls I, I don't know how many he had i know he won two classes on sunday and a couple on saturday i didn't look for the results there and i wasn't paying much attention i was just hanging out you know but uh anyhow for the legends right you know a slacker but anyhow, Bryce Shelley won three classes um, Sunday for MDRA racing. Uh, the, the Pino brothers were there out of New Jersey. Uh, the young one, K, 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 I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry, dude. Um, 154 to open. His brother, Kevin, 165, 7 to 11B. Uh, Ryan Mitchell came in from Keatesville, Maryland to take the win in 125C division. This is all Sunday racing. Tyler Stepik won one, open A. All right, good race in there. Uh, Damon McCoy from Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Been around a long time. 250 open B, both classes, won both classes. And Cooper Gordon, he's been dominating those C divisions, won both uh, C classes there. Uh, old pro Matt Hug and Tugger are back around. He loves the mountain. He come up there riding a green bike out of um, motivation. Sorry. Sorry, Wayne. Wayne Sr. Motivation Cycles. I saw on the Kawasaki of that Matt Hugland Tiger took two wins. Jimmy Max back in the action there. Wins 35, 45 plus. Daryl Gress, 40 plus BC. And Galen Dixon took a couple wins in the 50 uh, plus and the 40A division. Great, great races. Again, I got no sponsor for this video vlog this weekend. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe I'm not working hard enough. I don't know. Check out the MDRA MX uh, website. There's links in the, in the blog here for all the results. All the pictures, check them out. Let's run down through Timmy Scott, 1578, 55. That, 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 I think I've never done this before, right? 5078, Timmy Scott was your winner. 1-1, one, one, kids on fire, man. He comes up to me and says, can I have a t-shirt? I said, I don't have any with me, but I'll bring you one next week. He's like, okay. He says, by the way, I take a small. It's like, who knew? If you know Timmy, you know what I'm talking about. Kake de Pino, 54-6. Uh, 54 to 8 open. Uh, KK again took two wins on the day. 50 shaft. Gavin Landis out of Lidditz, Pennsylvania on the 117. Yamaha. All right. 65 7 to 11 B. Kevin, we talked about that to Pino over Zane Martin. Uh, 65 7 to 11 C. Malachi Kraft over Jess, uh, Jeff, uh, NPR dude. C Slack, I can't say the name. And Anderson Evie out of Millersville, Pennsylvania. I should know him. He's my neighbor. Christian Merman, 185 9 to 11 B. Cole Covert, 95, 85, 9 to 11C, 12 to 15B, Jude Smurlick over Brandon Hittenberger, who's been doing good, and Greer Mortar right in there, man. Hair Scramble Kid going motocross are doing well. Uh, 85, 150, 12 to 15C, Caldwell, Wolf, Jacobs, Junior Mini Smurlick over Freddie Turjan, Christian Merman, Super Mini, Bryce Shelley, we talked about it, Ryan Kineguyer, Ryan was in the house, and uh, Jake Owens, Greer Mortar fourth, and Wyatt Rotts in the fifth place. 
Uh, Schoolboy 1, Shelly. Bryce Shelley, we talked about that. Schoolboy 2, Matthew Jackson's I Don't Know You. Matthew Jackson, Columbia Crossroads, PA. Good job over Chase Yenser. Kid must be pretty good, right? Chase riding that new Suzuki ride. Hauling butt. He won College Boy. 125B, Shelly. 125C, Mitchell over Delaney. Nathan Delaney. Another hair scramble kid coming motocrossing. Uh, and Logan Hubbard. Uh, 250A, Tyler Schmidt out of Rochester, New York. I don't know him. Riding to KTM. Beat Tyler Stepick and Ron, Ryan Lachine. Logan Lightso, our local hero, came in fourth over Andy Civils. And Brandon Hugney had bike problems. Wiring or something. I don't know. McCoy, 250B. Cooper, 250C. Stepick, we talked about winning open A. McCoy and B. Open C. Cooper Gordon. I already told you all this stuff, right? What am I doing here? Uh, Who would I miss? Randy Lawson. Uh, lower Burrell, PA. Don't know Randy. He took uh, first and 30B. I think I do know Randy. Uh, James Carrick won uh, 30 plus C. Covered everything else except for the girls. They were flying, man. They had great, great racing going on. Uh, Maggie Harmison wins girls 9 to 15. And Jenna Schultes pulls out the win over Paige Weingarten, Leah Rotz, Angel Wheeler, and Maggie Harmison in the women's division. There you have it, man. I took up six minutes of your life telling you all that. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Thanks for tuning in to Brat Mag Live. I got Raceway Park for Mama and D6 this weekend. And then here you go, Dublin Gap. September 14th, 15th. You got to be there. Barbie Jeep racing, MDRA round. Big bucks. Yenters are stepping up. They got an AB uh, All Star race on Saturday and 250 and open A. I think there's four grand on the line for that. Six grand on the line for the A classes on Sunday. But I think I heard if you can win all four uh, motos, 250A, open A, you get an extra grand. That'd be a good payday. See you there. Don't forget the Barbie Jeep. Bring your Barbie Jeep later.